Hey guys, I want to show you the innards of a 6R80 valve body and how to uh, check the PWM required to turn the valve on and off each solenoid. So I have a quick little demo I want to show you guys. All right, so here's a 6R80 valve body, lead frame. Uh, I think this is what input speed, output speed. Transmission range sensor is supposed to be over here. This one, the transmission range selector is bad, so I'm going to order another body. But solenoids are across the bottom, all the way across. Connector, harness. So what I have here is I have a four cell LiPo battery. I'm using three of the four. So red wires, ground, uh, ties all my grounds together on this 10C 3.5. Um, I'm sending power to this red stripe here on the breadboard, which then supplies power up this tan or orange, which turns into tan, which then powers all of the powers all of the the solenoids, powers all the solenoids, and then the return for the specific solenoid we're playing with is, I believe, this white wire, which turns into yellow. So what we're going to do is we're going to send commands through serial terminal on an Arduino uh, setup to PWM through this line to make this little driver board that I built a while ago. It's a pair of dual channel MOSFETs and they're going to drive a grounding circuit back to the solenoid. So by sending a couple commands on here so I have it set up where if I send a capital Q, you can hear the audible tone. And then if I hit A and enter, it reduces the current a little bit, different audible tone. And then Z shuts it off. So if you go straight to A, you get this really loud buzz. So I think what I found out at 200, 250 hertz, which is the max the Megasquirt 3 software PWM will operate at, if I give it command Q, it gets a slight little hum, but it's quiet. And then I can reduce the duty to 50%. Oh, it gets some chatter there. So, still got a little bit of work to work with, play with here. So, what I think I figured out is being a three cell, it's only about 11 and a half volts versus the four, which ends up being 15 and a half. Uh, 11 is a little low. So, I think if the voltage was higher, like a normal 14 volt operating system, I won't have that buzzing at that 50% duty. So, just playing with different ideas over here on the board. Uh, the idea is the initial on will be a little higher duty. And then after a short amount of time, you pull it down to about 50%. And that should be enough to keep the hydraulic fluid flowing to the particular plunger, which sets the clutch pack into the appropriate state. So we're going to have to sort out how to do um, some type of ramping system, kind of like a peak and hold. Turn it on and then reduce the current down. Uh, to that 850 milliamps that Ford calls out in some of their documentation. Um, so I'm going to have to create those parameters within the tuning software to make that work. But I think it can be done, and it doesn't seem too difficult to do some type of a, uh, initial start amplitude and then a time constant for that before it ramps down to a final value. So it's very similar to the peak and hold already set up in the injector parameters uh, if you're running low impedance injectors. So I think that should be pretty straightforward to do in the software, uh, but that'll be the next step.